Now we're going to talk about the 10 most common mistakes that sellers make. If you're serious about selling your house, it's critical before you sign anything to know how to successfully sell in today's market. The secret sounds so simple. Maybe, maybe that's part of the problem. To beat the competition today, you simply must avoid the mistakes other sellers are most likely to make. Then you sell your home faster and get the best price too. And who doesn't want that? Mistake number one, wrong price. Experience shows the right price sells a house faster than any other factor. When the listing price is more than 5% over market value, the price alone discourages buyers. That's because an overpriced house scares away potential buyers who think they can't even afford to look. Buyers who do look at an overpriced house know they can get more house for their money elsewhere. Mistake number two, as is condition. I just hate this one. In today's competitive market, most buyers will not even consider a house that needs a lot of fixing up. In contrast, a sparkling showcase home gets top dollar when it comes to the bottom line. What most buyers are looking for is an inviting home in moving condition, one that looks as good as a model home. Buyers who are willing to tackle the repairs after moving in automatically subtract the cost of needed fix-ups from the price they offer. Either way, you save nothing by putting off fix-ups and likely slow the sale of your home. Mistake number three, no curb appeal. Your house gets only one chance to make a good first impression. That's why curb appeal is one of the most critical points in selling. Buyers are apt to fall in love at first sight or not at all. If your house lacks curb appeal, chances are the first impression will not be counteracted by the most perfect floor plan or the most tasteful interior. Spruce up the view of your house from the street, including lawn, shrubs, shutters, windows, front door, and mailbox. Add a potted flower out front, a wreath on the door, stylish outdoor lighting fixtures, whatever will enhance your home's buy me now look. Mistake number four dreary dungeon. A clean, bright decor is what buyers want. Probably the best dollar for dollar investment for selling your home fast is fresh paint. Neutral colors are best. Next to fresh paint, new flooring replaced for either condition, color, or latest style makes a big difference. Elbow grease can be as effective as spending cash to brighten your home. Start by ruthlessly getting rid of the junk you've accumulated. Clean each room top to bottom. Dare to make your home look better than you've ever had it looking. Focus on the three rooms most inspected. Kitchen, master bedroom, and garage if you've got one. Forget those and you may as well forget the buyer too. In the kitchen, clear off the counters and unclutter cupboards. Keep in mind, some prospects will judge the whole house by the cleanliness of the oven or refrigerator, and they will open your refrigerator. In the master bedroom, move or remove furniture to create spaciousness. The ideal garage stores only cars and perhaps an orderly display of garden tools, so throw out your junk to show off the room for its potential buyer's junk. Mistake number five, lavishly over-improving. While it's important to fix whatever needs fixing to get your home ready for sale, undertaking a major project could cost more money than you would recover from the sale. Spending too much on remodeling projects just drains money out of your pocket. If your improvements will push your home's value more than 20% over the average neighboring home values, don't expect to recoup the entire cost. Some major projects, however, like replacing a roof, should be done if they are needed because they will eventually be asked for in an inspection. Mistake number six, inflexible financing. The more buyers you appeal to in terms of financing, the greater your chances of selling faster. Be flexible. Considering accepting FHA and VA financing offering seller financing, paying closing costs or points, or other irresistible buyer incentives. 
Mistake number seven, General Custer syndrome. What is that? Going it alone like General Custer could invite disaster. Without a professional advisor, you probably won't sell. Even if you do sell, surveys show self-sellers often net less from the sale than sellers who use a real estate agent. Selling a house is a team effort between you and the listing agent. You'll find agents do a lot more than most people know, from bringing qualified buyers to keeping things on track towards settlement. Mistake number eight, always underfoot. The presence of your family can make prospective buyers feel like intruders. If you absolutely must be at the home when it's being shown, be your usual friendly but low-key self and keep children and pets out from underfoot. It's the agent's job to show buyers what they need to see. Buyers can better focus on your home's advantages by viewing them than by socializing with you. It's very best, the very best, to leave the home during a showing and let the agent do their job. If an open house is scheduled, plan to be away from the home as well. Let your agent know how to reach you quickly. When you're not at home, at other times, agents accompanying prospects may not necessarily leave their business card. However, when using an electronic lockbox, we, the listing agent, can track who's accessed the home and can follow up to get feedback for you. Mistake number nine, put up your dukes. No one wins if you enter negotiations with boxing gloves on. Instead, approach negotiations in a positive frame of mind, not as an adversary of the buyer. After all, you both want the same thing, a sale. Leave most of the discussion of price terms, possession, and other conditions up to your agent. We make it our business to get you the best deal. And lastly, mistake number 10, letting a buyer's contract languish. One of the most important moves you can make is to reply immediately to an offer. When buyers make an offer, they are right then in the mood to buy. Moods, as you know, change and you don't want to lose a sale because you stall in replying. We'll work together. Let us help you sell your house without a misstep. Working together will avoid the common and not so common mistakes. Signing off, it's Susan Roberts with Homes by Roberts Realty, brokered by eXp. See you on the other side of school.